Hello everyone, Major Frenchy, and I am uh, to show you today how to use Visual Pinball on an iOS. Yes, you've heard right. Uh, if you open up the Apple Store and search for Visual Pinball, you'll see that Jason Millard has developed this nice app and pushed it on the App Store. You will need actually iOS version 18 or later. You'll get that prompt, and if that's the case, then you will need to update. Now, in my case, I had 17.7, .7, I think, and I needed to update to 18. And then once that's completed, I'm able to install the software. Now you'll see on the top left there's a gear and once you click that, you can see all the different options that are available within VPX. Now uh, see the DMD type here, it says none. You can actually have a Wi-Fi ZE DMD. I'm gonna show you that later, that's pretty cool. Otherwise, I'm just gonna leave it off. All the different options here, Web server will allow you to transfer files from your computer directly to the iOS by enabling this and that port. So if you click on the table, it will launch it and uh, it's going to display the uh, touch area on the iPhone where you need to click to add coins and then the left and right flipper, for example, and then the launch, the plunger at the bottom right and start at the bottom left. And you just click add a coin and start and then launch and then here's the ball. And I'm uh, flipping by touching the left and right side of the iPhone screen. So let's talk about VPX standalone and how different it is from the regular VPX. So everything is ran within that folder. So you have the file, the table, you have the uh, VBS script, you have the VPIN name. Now, if you're running and you're having issues, uh, here's the website where you can have the standalone VPX, uh, VBS file. In your VPIN name, it's going to be your ROM, like you would have in your normal virtual pinball. I'm going to close this and then we're going to zip that. There's only one thing you need to do once it's zipped and is to just change the extension to make it easier. And we're going to rename this VPX Z. So now we're ready to send that file to the phone. I'm going to send the file via AirDrop. That's the easiest way I got uh, if you're using a MacBook Pro. If you're using a um, actually PC, then uh, you may just uh, use the web portal that I've showed earlier, or you can just maybe connect your phone and drag and drop the uh, table. And uh, to do this, now open the VPX and click on File and see it's actually here and then we're going to import the table and voila we have attack from mars i'm gonna click on it and it's gonna load the table now you can see that the view actually uh, of the table might not please you although you're seeing the uh, dmd and everything so that's pretty cool if you click on the top right, which is the menu, uh, it's gonna show you the different options that you can do, like uh, the night and day, uh, you can actually uh, tilt the table, and, and we're gonna do that in a second here. And uh, it's gonna allow you to show the frame rate if you want to, and the sound volume and the music, and all the different options that you can have here. On the next page is actually inclination of the table, so that will allow you to flip it, and as you can see, it's hiding my DMD when it's doing this. Um, so that for the time being, that's kind of the way it works. And uh, the table X and Z and Y, you can uh, kind of you know move it right and left. If you click on screen artwork, what it'll do is uh, you'll see when I quit this table, now it will have that image as my menu image and uh, when you select a table, you'll have that picture. That's actually pretty cool. 
Now you can see that the attack from Mars now has a, uh, an image to, uh, to be selected, and that's actually uh, much nicer. You can see that I'm back to the default because I did not save my point of view. So to do this is, uh, well, you just change the inclination at bottom left. You see there's a save button and you can just click that save and point of view is saved. Now, if you quit and then you relaunch the table, you'll see that the point of view is preserved. This is an emergency broadcast. The Earth is being invaded by flying saucers from Mars! Here I'll toggle the frame rate and you can see that we're getting uh, Return to battle, soldier. pretty much 60 frames per second. That iPhone actually is very powerful. This one that I'm using is an iPhone 10, not even, uh, sorry, an iPhone 13, which is not even the latest. We are invincible! Mamma mia! The monsters are straightening the power of Caesar! It will never work! Blow the saucers out of the sky! So this is a video done by Jason Millard, the developer of the VPX standalone for iOS. And look at that mini little display right next to it. So the way it works, it actually um, it needs 5 volts and it's connected uh, via Wi-Fi. And uh, you toggle that switch that I showed you uh, earlier in the DMD section and it will see it. So I was chatting with Jason and I showed him uh, the video prior of releasing it and he told me about this cool 3D printed project called a Pin Pal and it's basically a case where you insert the, the iPhone and then the uh, ZD DMD and you can actually just use that thing. I'll have a video of Jason showing how to use it but you can go to the GitHub and just get started with all the 3D printed parts. That's pretty cool. So what we have here is a Pin Pal by Bart Design. It's a 3D printed case for using Visual Pinball on your iPhone. Uh, the plans are available on GitHub. So if you have a 3D printer, it's uh, pretty easy to print out. All the plans are online. So to use it, we're gonna take the top off. We're gonna slide in the phone. You'll see that the ZEDMD fires up. So now we're gonna go into settings and we're going to look for it under Wi-Fi, so we're going to connect to it. And then we wait for it to have a good uh, Wi-Fi connection. So now we're going to come in and we're going to launch Visual Pinball. And we'll come down and select Simpsons Pinball Party. And you'll see the DMD display on the bottom. So the way this works is, is that this would be your start button, this would be your plunger. These buttons up here are nudge, and then these two buttons are your flippers. So we're gonna hit start. All right, and I hold down the plunger, let go. Now, thank you so much, Bart Design. Actually, this is going to be a sweet project. I, I totally want to do this. And uh, thank you, Jason Millard, for letting me use your video and like the amazing work that you're doing in developing this. I know some folks are saying, well, this is iOS. Jason hasn't forgotten you, Android user. I heard that there is a version coming very soon. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.